Sivas Parkham. Tarabello. Hi, stranger. If you accidentally clicked on this video, please stay and be our guest. My son Max and I, Kosten, we are here for you every week to present to you our astonishing board game Tribune. It's a tactical board game featuring the Battle of Cannae between Rome and Carthage, 216 BC. And hell, there is something going on on this board. Uh, the game of today is called Blitzkrieg because it didn't take long. Um, but before we proceed with the video, yeah. So, uh, you know, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to be notified of any further videos. And we have everything uploaded for free on our website. So you can either get this in real life by printing it out using a 3D printer and a 2D printer and, and, and uh, 4D you know, printer of manuals. Or you can get this tabletop simulator version, which is free, granted you have the tabletop simulator. <clears throat> so let's proceed with the game. Yeah, We're jumping right into it. Turning on the music from Darren Curtis. Darren, I once again say it, you did a fantastic job. That's true. And I began with a very traditional move. Just, uh, you know, looking forward to taking here in the future. So these two have to be busy defending this one. Yeah, and as I usually do, I try to prevent you from doing any harm on these diagonals. See, these vicious riders here pointing uh, at me over the diagonals. And by simply putting this in front, yeah, he's under attack, but he, he keeps his position due to his friend to his left and right side. Yeah. And he's kind of a blockade. It's a newer move. Uh, that have been implemented uh, for a short while uh, and, and now we're trying it and it's somewhat effective against this idea. Yeah, and it's usually your main idea, you know. Uh, I often lost to attacks according to this and this. And this is the crucial part of every defense Gotta watch out. So this is a very simple move. These hexagons are a little bit less accessible and I'm eventually uh, preparing for a symmetrical combination like this. Uh, yeah. And while it blocks me for a short while, perhaps I combine again like this and that would be a very nice thing to do. Yeah, exploding the complete defense line of your right, oh, from, from my point of view, right flank, but immediately going to war. Uh, this game is about defending your Tribune and getting rid of the other one. And so you need some offensive forces. And so you attack this one? He's not protected currently, but uh, okay. I assume... But I got a hand. Yeah. Well, I double click this, yeah, but you double -click doesn't matter. I just uh, moved this status ahead. Which is also very useful. So you have this, um, he's a little bit protected. Sometimes you, you put this. This is a very uh, nice defense. These two defend each other, are both protected by this one. And it's annoying to get through. Uh, and you are always causing troubles on all different colors. I mean, the dark hexagons so far are not concerned, but I have constantly watch out for your entrance points. Yeah, I'm just currently very happy with how this is looking. I have a very max-like position, if you want to call it. <laughs> uh, very yeah. little defense and a lot of offense. And I think that's just a very comfortable thing to play with. Maybe here's a future idea of like going this. 
Yeah, but Perhaps causing no trouble just. so far. Maybe I would like to point out uh, just just in short terms uh, that everything at the front line is protected so far. These are tripling up here. This dude is taking cover over there. So everything is safe and sound. But there's Zugzwang, you have to change something. And eventually something other opens up and you're in trouble. Yeah, it's a preparational move, I guess. Yeah, usually I would, um, you know, consider to uh, get rid of these two in order to create a black Aquis. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of confused why I didn't do this, uh, but it's also not that big of a deal. I mean, you get rid of smaller units. That's most likely a good thing to do. Yeah, I, I would assume agree. that you just try to come from the other flank with another rider. And I'm trying to create some counterplay. Yeah. Yeah. Now Not my archer very... is bothering you a little. You have to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, that's a very direct threat. And <laughs> yeah. you have to deal with it. So I went there. Yeah. Uh, ideas in the future are just being on this diagonal and causing troubles. It's not yet that uh, dangerous, as this is far too well protected. Yeah, but you, know. you develop with a momentum. I don't know, what was it called in chess when you move and threaten something else? Tempo. Tempo, right. This is kind of it. You, you develop in a way that you cause some different kind of trouble and now it's up to me to deal with it. So far, this one is safe, but just due to this and the companion to his left. And I always have to watch out if I, I would develop in such a way, this would become completely loose and you could strike, maybe, maybe, just to soften things up. I, I personally don't think there's anything there, but that's a, the cool thing, you, you can disagree. <laughs> Yeah, and, there are um, so many possibilities on this board. Chess is just a toy against it. I, no offense. No offense. We like playing chess, but on this board, there are so many possibilities. But that's for the beginners a nice thing. Because even the pros don't understand it entirely, and you can surprise. And so, this is like kind of a defensive move at first but you also have this opportunity to go here mm -hmm. maybe look at this you know or creating another equus well not another or one equus. would be the first one in my stock yeah and there is it as i said it seems yeah. it's not going to do a lot but just yeah. for the moment it pins like some of these yeah, pieces. but the thing is, this is defended by 10. Yeah, 10, 10 points I... of material and four different units. Very stable. I don't really see what I was going for there, but... Yeah, but it's not Plus. always about the piece at the front side. But if I move, then you have to deal with this. And it is just defended by four, see? And four is left. <laughs> You're not convinced, okay? So, I went So it was there. a completely stupid move. I agree. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna hear, right? Um, yeah. yeah, I'm. I don't really love this move, but I get it. You, you attack, maybe. Uh, this pushes you back. And let's see how you reacted. Oh, I, oh, you combined, actually. This is... But it's such a weird thing. I mean, you could have taken... And I would have lost three pieces. Could have just taken two back. 
and it would be down material and you would have a Savos on this spot and that's annoying like a thorn in your flesh yeah. just you well by the way uh, for those that, that didn't uh, catch up on it i accidentally I uh, double clicked again i gotta um, maybe eight. maybe take one back Sorry. yeah so uh this was a situation before you had these two arches and now and here the aquis just became a black aquis uh he's threatening me but i'm somewhat well protected it's not great but uh it's sufficient and, and, and so before we you click material before you click hmm. everything i said was wrong because you would go here first oh uh, yeah with a tempo again and then you would afterwards lose two pieces here would be in trouble deeply with your tribune um, yeah. and even with this i mean you could even consider even, just yeah, take, take the next one take again and this is still hanging yeah. like, i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't because because ah, wow, 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 wait 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 because if you step here, this is a direct attack on my Tribune, and this is very eh. dangerous. No, 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 no. You can take. Ah, yeah, it's, it's. Oh, sorry, it's protected oh. by one. Okay, so, so this, this is what happens it. when pros discuss a situation on the board of Tribune, and even trying to for, foresee situations two, three steps ahead. It's it's just insane. But that's the, the immediate idea of this move is very obviously this file, but the sneaky idea is going down that lane. And the only thing in between me and this hexagon is, is this unit and this. This is something you would want to take and then re uh, just uh, get your troops back. So uh, something like uh let's say takes then you take two here and you move this back by combining i don't know something For like example, this yeah. to open this up yeah. <clears throat> and and another point when it would be it's my turn now right you defend it in that awkward yeah. way and i could even consider taking here it doesn't matter that I lose some pieces, but now this spot becomes juicy. I could exploit it and maybe spoil your plans because you wouldn't have a ballista anymore. I would lose my Sagittarius, my precious one, but yeah. Perhaps. These are the so ideas you can have. So you uh, kind of defend it a little bit more I see yeah but that's you see no tempo nothing at all I am in trouble already but I didn't sense it yeah now you took and I took and you <laughs> did nearly everything according to your plan yeah so this is like the retrieval mission I've talked about and it's yeah. just about emptying up this hexagon. Yeah. So this would be a real bummer. Oh, no, not this. <laughs> this. This would be really annoying. Um, it would give you a little bit of mobility and it would just, you know, kind of uh, throw a wrench in, in the wheels of my ballista here. Yeah. And it would be uh, maybe a little bit silly just attacking like this but it would have definitely been annoying if only i would be able to to read your mind beforehand i guess i didn't see your plan at all but now the gate of your garage is opening up right yeah there it is the curtain falls and he unfolds a nasty intention you see everything he said is now coming to real life. Funnily enough, oh, I have an Equius on this diagonal, on this diagonal, on this diagonal, on this diagonal. <laughs> and, and it's kind of funny that 
I've actually kind of won on all colors. And that see this sense. dude! He broke away every wall of his house, just lighting a cigarette. Seeing what's coming next, because his pelts are going to have a huge melee. And they're beating up this guy, Elmer. Yeah. <sighs> and so, yeah. you went for counterplay. I think this is the immediate idea. Perhaps even blocking like that? Yeah, but I, I lost sure. control of this field entirely. And so, I think the idea is kind of very obvious. You just threaten and you're kind of like, yeah, what you're going to do with this? Like, are you going to uh, decombine again? That, that would maybe seem silly. I, I wished so, I would have maybe done this. And it's just, yeah, it's about blocking your attack, but opening, a, opening up the rear door. To leave my house on the sneaky path and maybe survive, maybe. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You chop down on everything. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, but I did something you, else. <sighs> yeah, you did this. Also fine. I mean, you get a little bit more space, and space was never yeah, but bad. But I, now I, here comes the egg with. Yeah, chopping it down, supported by the ballista, and I can just cannot defend. I, I cannot defend. Yeah, that was hmm, unfortunate as, over. Uh, as soon as you move this dude aside, the ballista again sees my tribune that would be in a discovered attack. And you can oh, shish kebab me from here. Well, Thing, the thing yeah, or, is, or maybe there are now many threats I have, like going there. <laughs> just the idea double always attack. is that you have a double attack, uh -huh. which is very important. And y there are many things you can do now. Um, and there's a funny way that you wouldn't really expect, but uh, you can actually, by accident, defeat yourself here. And <laughs> that kind of happened in the game. So, um... You don't see me this smiling. <laughs> this was uh, the move. That yeah. Happened. And see what I did with this move was not protecting me at all. It was like having this chest, precious, inside of it. It's a huge key. The key to my castle. And I brought it to you, bowing my head and saying, Here, please come inside. And slaughter me. Well, but why? Let's let's give you maybe a few seconds. There's a very interesting move you can do here that wins on the spot. No questions asked. So you have like five seconds. I mean, yeah, this has been the video. on play for well enough now, I think. So um, let's just get go, get ahead, and um, this is the move I played. Yeah, and for all of you, you are not used to this channel or the game in Tribune. You can take, like in chess or in checkers or whatever. But you can also take Impero. Impero means you are commanding for a limited amount of time or, or for at least some some a couple of moves. And now you command... Now you command this unit and you can exploit the movement and attack pattern. And now you can decide, hmm, am I an archer attacking like this? So I'm seizing control of these hexagons. Or do I remain being an Aquis? So I'm covering this field as well. And I'm attacking. As you can see, the red circle indicates it. And as described before, opening up the garage and letting in the hounds. Bam. Completely insane. I didn't see that. I saw maybe you can take, okay, but I can at least run to this position. But I can. Because I would use your own unit against you. Yeah, which I, is... Maybe I could so 
survive a little bit longer now, I would have to yeah, split up entirely. I mean, it's not impossible to survive this, but yeah. it strikes me as very, very difficult. Yeah, it is. Like, the next Actually, thing's I happening. Don't... See, these are ready to strike. They are poised, right? They are waiting here, and at any given point, they can chop down this one. Maybe the unit loses a lot, but then it sacrifices it itself, moving this way, opening up this diagonal for for the other one to come in, and it's, it's, it's useless. And so, you gave up. It was brutal. Yeah. I was brutalized. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not proud of playing that, stupid. But it happens. It happens on this board, yeah. Okay. Uh, although the next clip was already starting and it's nice music we turn it off you're turning to the goodbye screen thanks for your attention or do, do you have any anything to add well uh don't forget about the subscribe button and the yeah, bell right. uh, yeah we will be here oh, and... uh, what what right. See? And, uh, <laughs> sorry well, we hope you enjoyed it but you have a great day and wonderful time Right? No, 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 I would say so. And maybe um, later this year we will be uh, going to another exhibition showing our game to the Netherlands. Uh, and we already found a lot of people liking this game and, and there were really some of them that said instantly, where can I buy it? Well, you cannot buy it directly, not yet. We are trying to find uh, producer, um, but but you can send us an email, for example. Send us an email, uh, just check tribune.org, write the email, we answer, and uh, we send it to you, right to your home. Okay, um, so far so good. Until next time, see us soon. On Tribune.